That is, I, I think you could win a wet t-shirt competition now. I'm back in here, Porrick. <laughs> yeah. We're here in the uh, over Porrick's gone. Well, he'll be back in a minute. We'll get him. I hope he will be. Yeah, he will be. Of course, he'll back all this up. So you worked. You worked. We're, we should explain now. You, we're, we're kind of relating the time you for four years. You worked down in Cabanas, Cabanas and where the, the woodland. Beautiful. Under, under the uh, ownership and stewardship of Olive Dial. I can't. I, as I said, it looks when I look at you and Patrick, I definitely think of Bay Pig in the city. These poor innocent lads from the country coming down to a the end of the property like Cabanas. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say you came home with magic beans more than once. <laughs> So there was there was rumor there were rumors uh, at one point that uh, Olive, being the smart woman that she was, she decided Friday nights were quiet. Why not have a topless wet T-shirt? No, not just a topless wet T-shirt competition. Is this uh, this, this it starts out like that, all right? And there was going to be a few um, heats over a couple of weeks, dragging into a month or such, shall we say? And the prize was a, a skiing holiday. Beautiful. Beautiful. And um, it's. Got a fair bit of attention from the uh, young ladies in the, <laughs> the vicinity. Um, but uh, coming up to close to the competition first night, um, there was uh, a few representations made from Greystones that it might be inappropriate to have a wet t-shirt competition that um, the fellows not, might not be able to contain themselves with the sight of scantily clad women up on the stage. Well, I heard the priest, did the priest come down as well? Uh, there was uh, representations made from the But he wasn't allowed to enter because he, yeah, he, no, he no, was no, some, no, he even though he wore a dress, he wasn't allowed no, to enter. He, he was, not sure he was for right. <laughs> he, did, he, didn't he have wanted to be one of the judges. He didn't have the assets, so to say, to, to get in there at the time. I don't know if he's still with us now or not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's always with us in spirits. That's the way he works with priests, I think. Yeah. The competition uh, turned into... Um, <laughs> Fancy dress and um, so the idea the uh, the, 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 the wet t-shirt yeah show. so the wet t-shirt had to be but the oh, wet t-shirt had to be oh, oh, right. yeah, I had to go right. oh, there was no go. way that was yeah. going to go ahead so and you guys uh, decided to stay working there nonetheless though oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, well, we're, what we're the behind the scenes we're back right. everybody up yeah <laughs> but, uh, on the night of the um, <laughs> talent contest there was certain members uh, <laughs> did their thing anyway and uh, everyone was going along grand at that time there was uh, a reporter down from one of the major papers in Dublin to uh, have a look at the night and see how things went on. And this, this was on the back people. of the controversy, wasn't it? There was some uh, quite a stink about the fact that there was uh, going to be a, a wet, wet t-shirt wet competition. competition. She might have been down upon that, but right. uh, it, it's caused a bit of a stir uh, yeah. in the town, or the village as the case may be. And in the city too. This is a, a female journalist, and I think it was yes, the Herald. I heard it was from the Evening one, Herald, I think. The Evening Herald won the major yeah. papers. But she was there on the night anyway, and the talent contest started off. Um, Quite enough. Uh, Bill was great. Yeah, well, it, it was a little lack of There was no video to You two were just there. disgusted the original plan was. <laughs> not that would have satisfied you. But, um, a talking dog wouldn't have been any good. Like. <laughs> things, were, things, were, things were reasonably all right, shall we say. Yeah. But until, until a certain member of the community, um, known for his high spirits and. Uh, um, Tommy Mitchell! Uh, well, uh, on, 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 nothing we're saying. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. Um, <laughs> Even though you were his, there, we'd say allegedly. It was his turn to get up and do a uh, tour right. anyway. But it was hard to recognise him because he was dressed up in so much drag. Um, Good drag. man. Yes, and the makeup looked lovely as Who well. doesn't? Who doesn't? And he looked like a real woman. <laughs> Catherine Nevin's probably the greatest drag queen short, I've ever had. Short of actually getting his legs waxed, I suppose, Tommy was really in the role. <laughs> and anyway, uh, the song he decided to perform his talent contest that night was to Patricia the Stripper. And I've, I've heard on good authority, Johnny Morrison, who uh, the, the world will know, the world of entertainment will know, it was his actual copy of that Christy Berg album because they couldn't find it and somebody called out to him to get it. And he had a copy of uh, Spanish Train and Other Stories was the album oh, yeah. containing this wonderful piece of uh, erotica. Yeah, I wouldn't that now, right? The DJ on the mic. Oh, the DJ on the mic. Was Maybe Dave exotica Dave. or well, I don't know exactly what we're dealing with. Dave Purnell. Oh, the great Dave Purnell. Yes. Classy. Still on the go Class act. Yes. Class act. Just uh, slightly hair is greying. It's like <laughs> well, quite a few of it was from this night, I think. <laughs> but um, as it uh, transpired and the uh, contest was going on, um, certain parts of clothing started to get uh, disrobed, <laughs> and uh, Olive was getting a little bit nervous. She would say behind the counter, and um, 
as more and more came off. The crowd <laughs> got really into it, and Tommy was no, a, a crowd from Greystone. No, around here, there's a lot of oh, people yeah, are classed early. They wouldn't. Gentleman. People around this area wouldn't have that. Less, less, less. <laughs> and, uh, I think all of us getting a little bit anxious, was she? Oh, I was getting very nervous yeah. as to how far Tommy might or might not go, and with the representation from the mainstream, yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit concerned about yeah. how this might uh, turn out. Might play outside the sticks. Yes, yeah. uh, they mightn't understand our uh, kind of sense of humour. Right, <laughs> yeah. But as things went on, um, the room started to rise, the temperature started to get hot. <laughs> I love all these euphemisms. Yes, uh, getting very well. We're well, still, we're, Tommy we're selling a lot of beer. Tommy here, Mitchell's so a good-looking woman. Oh yes, very much. So. <laughs> he had the voice, high heel shoes. But um, as he got down to his uh, bare essentials, so we say, uh, more shouting of off, off, off. As he got down to his. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Yes, um, <laughs> and in, I'm not sure where that was off stage or off, off, off. <laughs> In true form, he decided to uh, disrobe. And now, you know there's a beautiful lady here that you're embarrassing her. Yes. She's getting mortified here. This is outrageous. And this, this is a rare occasion. Nobody had seen him. People could light a cigarette off that lady's cheeks right now. Like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> the poor woman now. Like, her mother sent it out to the shops and now suddenly she's, <laughs> she's hearing this filth. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> might be quite that naive. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, the difficult thing with it, with, with, with it is that when Tommy did finally uh, disrobe, oh, yes. when he got right down to his birthday suit, it was a hell of a shock because nobody ever seen him like this before. And nobody probably did ever since either. <laughs> he's, a, he's not an attractive man. <laughs> and, and it was a great roar yeah, went yeah. up and uh, Olive was hand in, in, in over her head saying, no, no, no. She was but, part of the act too. She was in over her head. How does, how oh, does that work? <laughs> Well, look, at least he didn't have head and shoulders on him. Okay. <laughs> and this, this was, uh, there was a reporter, so did the, the Herald run anything on this? Uh, they did indeed, yes. Um, <laughs> it came out. <laughs> no, go, go straight home. Straight home now. No dilly-dallying. <laughs> it came out in the paper, uh, surprisingly enough, as uh, a great place for kids to go <laughs> and relax and enjoy themselves. Without the interruption of parents uh, worrying about their offspring, shall we say. Yeah, without the interruption of... All oh, right. Well, holy moly, I've got to get that article. Well, I've got to say that that is a beautiful story to start our weekly series with, because I think we're going to have to open up the Farley Files. And we will get... <laughs> well, I do believe Tommy did get uh, the holiday, and as to whether he went on or not, I Well, don't I think know. that was more deportation than a holiday. People never, actually got him well, out of the country, and, and he's not been allowed back since. It'd be handy to see if there's any photographs. Oh, holy, that I don't know. I don't know if that would oh, be... No, not half the night, but off right. the holiday. Yes. <laughs> Who knows what he did when he went on holidays? With a bit of heat in the air, he could go mad. We should try and dig out some holidays. <laughs> yeah. holiday. You shouldn't be that hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's always on the piste. We shall have to have a look to see whether there is any photographs of the night. Felt differently. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Well, we shall check that out. If we get some, rock and roll. Well, 